guys, welcome to another episode. I've got to be a little bit quiet because it's very early in the morning. The sun literally just rose. But I'm here today to do a tasting on pine berries. And if you look in the back here, you'll see that bright red strawberry there. That guy. It's supposed to be a pine berry. Um, I know it's a pine berry because of the way they grow, and I'll show you here in a minute what I mean. But a pine berry is normally white with like some pink blushing, and sometimes they can get more red or more color to them when they get exposed to light. So that's something if you want to just keep them to the normal pine berry appearance that you want to try to avoid, but to avoid the direct sunlight on them. Now, they're not supposed to get this red though, <laughs> so I'm not sure why that happened. I really have no idea. But I'm gonna pick it regardless and I'll taste it and see if it's any different than a regular strawberry and you know, go from there. But I do have some actual pine berry looking pine berries. So I'll pick those as well. And from there we'll I'll show you what I'll tell you what I think of them. So but first before we do that, let me show you the growth habit of the two different varieties that I have. So I have the pine berry of course and another variety is called Connaught. I used to have a, I still do, but I have a third variety, it's called All Star. It's never been in this container, so that's not an issue, but I do have it around in other spots still. I pulled it in most of my containers, however. Um, but the pine berry, the Connaught growth habit is very, very different. So I can show you exactly what I mean and why I know this is a pine berry and not a Connaught. So let me show you that real quick, and then we'll pick the strawberries here, the pine berries. All right, so you can see my pine berry here. And in the back is the pine berry plant. So you can see that a pine berry, it's just one plant. It's not, it doesn't have a bunch of offshoots coming from the base or anything. They will sucker, but they don't usually divide more um, shoots from the, from the base of an existing strawberry or pine berry. Sometimes they will send out another one, like I feel right here, a oh, little Spider-Man. Um, I feel like in there, it's hard to tell, but there is another um, strawberry that's growing in there. So sometimes they will send off another strawberry from the base of an existing plant. But this container actually has a few examples where that has happened, but it doesn't happen very often. It hasn't happened to too many of my other ones. Now if you look at my other variety, which is a Quinault, if you look at the base of them, you can see that there's many plants, okay? Like, I mean, there's probably at least five or six at the base of this one. There's another one in the back here. There are many more plants here, and that's very, very common for my Quinault variety. It just isn't very common at all for my pine berry, and that's one of the ways that I can distinguish them. Now, I've made a video about my varieties before, and I'll put a little card up here that takes you to it, right here. But for the most part, it's an easy way to tell them apart. They just grow very differently. There are more ways that I can keep them apart. One of the ways is that the roots actually look different. Pineberry roots have uh, a lot more red to them. Quinault are just normal, normal roots. They look more like yellowish. So that's why I know this is a pineberry and this as well, but it just got completely red. I have no idea why. It has been in the full sun um, in the back here, especially as we get closer and closer to summer. This gets full sun. So, yeah. It's hard to say. But I'm going to pick these two regardless. Plus a couple more. And uh, we'll give them a taste test. Let's go to the next spot where I'm going to grab some more strawberries now. Alright, 
right, so I've got some more over here. Now these are a little smaller, and I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that they're in a full blasting sun. Like these are south facing, they just get essentially all day sun, especially this particular container. So but I'm gonna harvest them regardless. We'll, uh, we'll see if they taste any different. And we'll do a little bit of a comparison, I suppose. These might be sweeter because they do get so much sun. You know, as you can see, they're also more pigmented because they get more sun. But they should still taste really, really awesome. All right, let's go taste them. All right, so I've got all the strawberries lined up. I'm honestly just as curious as you are because I had some pine berries last year, but they, that was the first year I got them. So they didn't really produce very well because they were still establishing roots and everything. And um, I also felt like the ones that I did have were underripe. So I really didn't get a proper taste of it. So I will start off with the smaller ones, which will be on your right going to the one that I feel like is most like a pine berry. Um, yeah, so let's just begin. I'm gonna start with this little guy first. I guess kinda get an idea of what it tastes like. Yeah, it tastes like a sweet strawberry. <laughs> so not really getting any of the um, pine berry taste, like pineapple taste, I should say. But let's try another one. Same deal. Sweet strawberry. To be really honest, I'm expecting this big one to just taste like a sweet strawberry as well. Like a very good sweet strawberry. It looks amazing, really. But I'm not really expecting any pine berry taste out of this either. So uh, we shall see. Let's go ahead and try it. From what other people, from what I've seen from other videos is that there really isn't that much pineapple taste to them. I feel like there's probably a lot of marketing, you know, they call it a pine berry to kind of, ah, oh, pineapple flavor, you know. It's white, it looks a little bit like a pineapple, I guess, because it's white. I mean, not, even though pineapples are yellow. I don't know, I feel like it might be a little bit of marketing, but we, uh, we'll see. So let's try this one. Yeah. That's an amazing strawberry. I mean, um, really <laughs> nothing bad to say about that. Uh, still though, no pineapple taste. So it's really just weird how how much better strawberries that you grow yourself are. Like when you, grow, when you get them from the store, there's usually a lot of sourness to them. That's why a lot of people will put a little bit of sugar on it, you know, to kind of sweeten them up. There's none of that when you grow them yourself and they're properly ripened. Okay, so here's the big one. I not really, I'm not really expecting any pineapple taste, honestly, but you know, we'll see. Let's just uh, dive right into it. Let's give it a shot. Hmm. Right. Okay. So it is white on the inside. Um. It's sweet, like so it is definitely ripe. I mean, it's definitely ripe. I, if it was unripe, I would have definitely been able to say that pretty right out, uh, right out of the gate. So I'm confident in its ripeness. However, it does kind of just taste like a strawberry. It just tastes like a pretty conventional strawberry. I'm not getting any pineapple taste at all. Maybe if I pick the white part a little more. No, it tastes like, it just tastes like a, like a strawberry, honestly. Yeah. Mind you, a really good strawberry. 
Just not, I'm not getting pineapple, really, honestly at all. I, it, it tastes, it just tastes like a slightly less sweet, um, of course, I'm just holding the stem. <laughs> it tastes like a slightly less sweet uh, red strawberry to what I had before, that the, the pine berry. It just tastes like a little less sweet, but you're still getting full strawberry flavor. So, yeah, that's really all I got to say about it. Um, I'm not getting pineapple, unfortunately. I'm going to keep trying them, and if I ever feel like there is pineapple flavor to them, like maybe as they mature more, or maybe once we get into the, the summer more and the extra heat might induce that flavor, you know, we'll see. But for now, it's the first batch of the year. I'm not getting pineapple. So I do appreciate you coming along and, um, you know, trying these strawberries with me together. You know, I feel like we're doing this together, but we'll see you in the next one. I hope you enjoyed. Tot de volgende keer.